Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, incognitus with these ridiculous glasses, and shorter Skywalker from the DFS Club. We're coming at you guys with the NBA main slate video. It's only a four-gamer, but uh, it's an interesting one. If you guys are new, hit that like button, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash it, elbow it, um kick it i don't care guys and leave us a comment down below um because if we get 100 likes and 100 comments i'm giving away a free one month dfs club membership guys and we're going to give one away tonight because uh we got to 99 comments on two videos ago so i'm going to give one away tonight guys and you already know what it is we swept it tonight again again all three DK lines cash. Beautiful. I'll show you guys all that stuff. So without further ado, you guys know what time it is. Let's start the fucking show. I mean, look how look how excited Schroeder is, man. He's very animated tonight. I'm just gonna warn you guys. He's trying to look at him. Yeah, get your scent all over that microphone, dude. So, yeah, if you guys are new, make sure you do all that. And down below is a super thanks option. If you want to leave Schroeder and I a super thanks down below, um, you get a special shout-out in the next video. And uh, thanks for yawning during the video. Yeah, I appreciate that, buddy. Um, and it goes a long way. It goes towards the Schroeder Salmon Treat Fund, the Smoking Joe Liver Treat Fund. And um, hi. What's up, man? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, we did good, we did good, he's excited, guys, I don't know what else to tell you, so yeah, guys, if you want to leave us a super thanks down below, it's much appreciated, guys, so before we get into the giveaway, speaking of super thanks, let's shout out the real ones, I gotta make sure he don't hit the mute button with his head, Um, let's see here, so Mr. Dave Barton, with a $2 super thanks, thank you so much, Dave, he says, I can't tell you Enough how much I love the show. You bring it and honest. Thanks for everything. Thank you, Dave. Big Dave. Appreciate it, brother. Thanks for the $2. Super thanks, man. You are the real one. Shout out to you, brother. Um, let's see. Jan with the $5 super thanks. Thank you, Jan. Um, I know you already tore up your bus ticket, like I told you in the comment. Um, we did it again tonight. And uh, winning is a beautiful thing. So thank you so much, Sam, for the $5 super thanks. You donate every single video. And uh, Schroeder and I really do. do we know we don't. We don't take it for granted. So thank you so much, Jan. God bless you. And then we got to get to my man, Catcher AD. Every damn video. $1.99 super thanks. Thank you, Catcher, man. Hopefully you got in on that bread tonight. Hopefully you played my lineups and swept DraftKings. Um, and yeah, thank you so much, you guys. You guys donating every day, man. I'm just speechless. I don't know, you know, honestly, I don't know what to say. But yeah, I took my contacts out. They're bugging my eyes again. So sorry, guys. You get you get the ridiculous uh I look like Clark Kent or something. I don't know. But uh yeah, so let's show you let's show you guys how we did. <laughs> Can't talk either, can I? Um let me show you how we did and then we'll do the giveaway. I'm going to make you guys wait for the giveaway, guys. All right. So, Big Don. Big winner tonight, boys. $450 here, $250 here, $50 here, $25 here. Very nice. Big Don, you deserve it, brother. Congratulations to all your success, man. I love seeing that shit. Scorpion, $369. Got a oh, showdown here. Nice, dude. So the game plan today was got a 321 here. When we were doing the members only podcast, play no less, no less than four Miami Heat players because they're gonna all gonna play huge minutes. And that's what happened, man. All three DK, easy cash. These are all the lineups I give out to the family. 316, 312, 310. It's just Fandle got a 357. Damn Jalen Green. Whew, man. But 
That's that was the plan today in the podcast. So we did it. The streak continues. That's what four out of no. I think it's four out of my last five clean sweeps on DraftKings, guys. You guys are missing out if you're not part of the club. Mr. Parrish here got a 310, won six bucks there. But yeah, that was the plan for me, man. I mean, I could not believe how low owned the Heat were today. Like, are you fucking kidding me with this shit? Like, Highsmith was only 14%. He was starting, played 40 minutes. Like, how Kyle Lowry was only 30%. Like, what are people thinking today? I don't know, but that's why I'm so successful in this stuff, guys. I look, it's just sometimes it's just common sense. When you try and get too cute, that's that's what does you in, man. You guys want to come join the winning team. You guys want to get a part of this winning. You already know, you already know the spiel, guys. It's dfsclub.com. If you go, it's not a spiel though, it's the damn truth. You go to the website, dfsclub.com. You got DFS Space, my brother, who literally surgically analyzes these players before every slate. Myself, Skywalker DFS, and Space had a good theory, and nobody else is talking about this theory why Joel Embiid is doing so good right now. Nobody. Space knows. Space knows. Nobody else on YouTube, nowhere talks about it. They're just like, oh, Embiid's hot right now, but they don't know why. Space knows, guys. We know this shit. We play every single sport. We got a big NHL slate tomorrow, guys. You guys know who the king, the king of kings of NHL DFS is. This guy. My reputation, my winning speaks for itself, guys. We got UFC tomorrow. We got NBA tomorrow. We got college sports tomorrow. We got NFL on Sunday. We won't stop because we can't stop, guys. Look at the slideshow. Look at the slideshow, okay? The winners speak for themselves. We're $14 a month. That's the price of a Big Mac fucking meal. A Whopper fucking meal. Supersize that shit. Same price. Made it affordable for everybody, guys. All you got to do is click join now. Click on my logo. Well, I said my. I'm, I'm meant to say R Schroeder, right? Skywalker DFS. So Schroeder and I get credit. And welcome to all the new members again that just came on through today, man. We're going to hit 800. Hopefully by the end of the weekend. 800 members, guys. We got to be doing something right in here. Trust me. Once word gets completely out, we're going to have to cap it at like 2,000 people. Because it's just going to get... Like, I don't want to be another one of these people that have like 10 different people running the shows. And, you know, I want you guys to always turn on a a DFS club video on it being just space and I. I don't want... I don't want to be like the other ones. You know what I'm saying? You got like 10 different people. guys. Bronze, silver, gold plans. Our gold plans are cheaper than everybody else's monthly plans, by the way. That's for a year. Three-day passes are always popular. Gold plans, silver plans, bronze plans. You get everything. You get all my lineups, the ownership, the projections, the top stacks. You name it, guys. You get it. All with the DFS Club membership. Once you click a plan, you get an email instantly. And in that email is your invite. You click on the invite, and then boom. Let the winning begin. We also cover prize picks. Prize picks is so popular right now. Um, sports wagering, you name it, guys. We do it. Stop taking the fucking bus. I'm talking diamond ring wearing. Limousine riding, jet flying. Wheeling, dealing. Kissing the girls and making them cry. Well, that's, that's what Schroeder does. Staying in the biggest suites in the tallest buildings. We're the DFS club, guys. Come join the winning team. Stop. Hear me now. Stop losing. All right? I'm serious. Come be a part of this DFS movement because we're going to take over this damn thing probably by the end of the year. If we haven't already. I mean, I don't know if anybody else has 800 members, but uh, yeah, we're getting there, guys. So let's give away a membership. Let's do it. Let's give one away, Schroeder. Come on, you're going to help me out. We got to give back to the people. Always pay it forward. You always give back because it's the right thing to do. Yes, I know. I know. I'm going to tell him. Shorter's whispering in my ear. He's going, I know, Shorter. Are we ready to pick it? All right. So, can I get a drum roll, Shorter? 
All right, ready? Oh, I got a bite. All right, ready? Hit the start button and start. Who's it going to be, Schroeder? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, go back. Go back. I think I saw Richard Childs. Richard Childs. It popped up before it went to that fucking screen. So, Richard Childs. Smoke Schroeder in the butt. Um, you're the winner, dude. Richard Childs. I saw it before it went to that fucking spam screen. I don't know. It never does that, but it did it this time. Richard Childs, email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com, and I'll hook you up. And if you're already a member, which I don't think you are, I don't recognize your name, um, I'll just refund your money for the month. So, again, guys, 100 likes, 100 comments. We'll give it one, another membership away. I'll do it every damn day. I did it during the MLB season. You guys remember that. So let's get into this slate, guys. That's why you're here, right? Like, shut the fuck up. Stop giving stuff away. Stop talking so damn much. And 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 let's get to the picks. So a lot of people went down today. A lot of injuries happened. Maxie's in a fucking walking boot. It's just like, yikes, he's going to be out. Melton's questionable. I think he's going to play. And then we got the fucking Spurs. Keldon Johnson's probable, but Devin Vassell's questionable. Um, Mc, McBuckets looks like he's probable. Jakob Portal's fucking questionable. Um, says Tobias Harris is healthy. I don't know about that draft dashboard, but uh, I know he's questionable. So let's start it off. We got a four-gamer. Let's see down here. So we got, let me see. Dame is okay at 10-1 versus Utah. If you can afford him, I'd say he's one of the best payups on the slate. Tyrese Halliburton left tonight's game, so I highly doubt Halliburton plays. Um, let's see here. Jalen Suggs, 5.9K. We know Banchero's out again, so I like the price tag, man. He's always too cheap. Always 40, 45 in his last two. He plays over 30 minutes a game. His usage rate has gone way up. 20, 27, then 32%. My gosh. So, yeah, I love Jalen Suggs here. Um, Mike Conley's in play at 5-7 on a four-game slate against Portland. Sure. Um, he's going to play over 30 minutes. 40, 34. He does have a scary floor, though, of a 15 and a 23 before that. So, He's going to play, but I'm not in any rush to ever fucking play Mike Conley at this stage of his career. Um, Trey Jones, I don't see no questionable tag next to him, so we're going to have to wait. And, of course, it's the fucking late game, right? So we're going to have to wait for Wokovich, fucking Greg fucking Wokovich, before we can pick out what Spurs we're going to play. So that should be fun. Uh, but, yeah, Trey Jones should be out there at 6-3, I hope. Melton, we'll see, man. Um, they're going to need him. Philly is really short. 5.9K. He should be chalky if he plays. He should smash with no maxi back there. Um, yeah. But we'll see if Melton's in. Hopefully he is. So with Halliburton now, I think Andrew Nemhard, it's not like a, a damn porn porn star, Mr. Mr. Porn star here at 3.9K, should get the start. Should be chalky though, but. And then Shake Melton. Probably will get a start, too, at 3.1K. No Maxi. He should get a start at 3-1. He played 31 minutes last game, got a 29-burger. Uh, TJ McConnell with no Halliburton egg. Maybe he gets a start at 3.8K. Um, dude smashes. Like, we've seen him before get 40s and 50s. So, TJ McConnell, I'd love him if he starts at 3.8. I'll probably have 100% of them. All right, let's go to shooting guard. All right, so Buddy Heald, Mr. Buddy Heald. No Halliburton? Absolutely. 6.7K. He'll probably draw a start. Last time against Orlando, 33 and a 30. Uh, we're kind of looking, though, for a 40 burger at this price tag, but I do like Buddy Heald. Like I said, Devin Vassell, questionable. We'll see if he plays. He's 6'2. If he plays, play him. You know, great, great analysis there. And then Benedict Matherin at 5'7. Should get the start, I would think, but you never know. Even if he comes off the bench, he'll probably get more minutes. He'll probably 
easily get over 30 minutes. Love this kid, man. He's very score independent, though. That's what I don't like. But he does have high usage rate, 29 and 34% in his last two. So, yeah, give me Matherin. Uh, Malik Beasley, just been solid. He's cheap. He's 4.3K. He's $1,100 more on FanDuel. So, FanDuel, you're paying up. But DraftKings, man, he's playing anywhere from 23 to 31 minutes. 30, a 22, and a 39 in his last three. So, good matchup against Portland. These Clipper guys like Paul, George, and Kawhi, good fucking luck, okay? Good luck to you. I'm not messing with that. Just too many players, too many mouths to feed on the Clippers. Let's see. So let's go to small forward. And someone I'm not going to fucking play ever is Kawhi Leonard. Let's just make that clear, all right? Um, Let's see. Tobias Harris, so 6.9K if he plays which it looks like he's trending towards he might, should absolutely smash with everybody out. Him and Bede, who we'll get to, um, should absolutely dominate tomorrow. And it's against Minnesota, so it should be a competitive game. Um, Minnesota plays at a fast pace, so I love Tobias Harris at 6'9". Okiki's fine at 5'2". I mean, with no Banchero, he's getting the minutes. He just really ain't doing shit, right? He ain't doing that much with them. but. I mean, for 5-2 on a four-game slate, beggars cannot be choosers. Justice Winslow for Portland, 4.6K. He played 28 minutes last game. He just had a bad game. I think he's firmly in play here. Last time it's Utah, he got a 29. Listen here, Jack. If he gets a 29 at 4-6, we'll take that easily. So I like Winslow. Got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a good game tomorrow. So, yeah, again, with the Spurs, we just got to wait on the damn news. Let's go to power forward and feel the power. So we got a little narrative going here. So you guys remember a couple of years back when Carl Anthony Towns and Joel Embiid got into a fist fight during the game. Y'all remember that? I do. They're facing each other again, guys. And one thing about Embiid this year is he's really not going up for rebounds like he was. It's probably he's saving his knees. You know what I mean? Like his knees, his, his ankles. That's a big fella. So he's just letting people rebound. He's just like, all right, you get the rebound. So I like these Minnesota bigs. I do. You guys saw what Capella was just. I mean, Capella got 20 rebounds in two games against Embiid. Embiid's just not going for rebounds. So I like Carl Anthony Towns at 8-7. I think that's too cheap. Cat should be over 9K. 46, 56, 33 in his last three. Against Philly, 39-44, and then he had that 71. There's some heated rivalry here with him and him and fucking uh, Embiid, so I love Cat. Bow, 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 6-2 is too cheap. Again, with no Banshee, he's probably going to start. We'll see if they put him at the 4 or the 5. I think last game he started at the 5 at 6-2. 33-50 and a 30 in his last three. Going up against fucking Indy. Yeah, dude, I like that. Jalen Smith, I'll let others chase this shit. I'm not going to do it. I don't chase, guys. I don't chase. There's got to be a logical reason, like today. Play four fucking Heat guys because they're all going to play 40 minutes. It's that simple. There's got to be logic behind it. You can't just look at a box score and be like, hopefully you guys learned your lesson from that Terrence Davis play the other night, right? Uh, Jeremy Sochan. Looks like he's going to play no matter what at 4-5. If you want to plug it in, what I would do tomorrow night is uh, don't fill up your utility spot. Leave that open with like a later player. Throw anybody in there just in case you get some value late and then it'll be low owned for damn sure. So So Chan could start, could come off the bench. We don't know. He's 4.5K. Um, it is against the Clippers, so potential blowout, but the Spurs could keep it close. I mean, Yako Poto's questionable too. So. I mean, but if this team's, like, going to be missing everyone, we don't know. Or everyone's going to be fucking playing. We don't know. It's Wokovich. So, so Chan, Keda, Bates, Diop at 4-2. Both these guys are in play. 4-5 um, for So Chan. 4-2 for uh, Bates, Diop. Georges Niang for Philly should play a ton of minutes tomorrow, 3.9K. I'd like him more if Tobias Harris was out, but... I still like him for 3.9. On a four-game slate, you're going to be searching for these 3K range players. 
I think that was it. So let me Isaiah Roby too. It just he played 22 minutes last game. Game before that, only five minutes. Game before that, he played 24 minutes. He's 3.1K. If you're playing three lineups like myself, I'll probably throw him in one. It's just I don't fucking trust Wokovich. I don't trust him. Now, if everyone's going to be out, Roby should be a smash play. So like I'm saying, guys, tomorrow when you're making your lines, and I'm going to hammer this home in the Members Only podcast, which you get with a DFS Club membership, by the way. Leave some spots open for this late game. Because 3-1 Roby is probably going to be way under-owned if all these other guys are out. Let's go to center. All right, so Joel Embiid, 11-2, probably the best play on the slate. Um, 66, 100, and 72 in his last three. And look at his minutes, guys. 36, 36, 40 minutes. Come on now. Against Minnesota, 55, 71, 41, 59. Love MB tomorrow at 11 2. Should have no problems getting to him. There's going to be plenty of value. Wendell Carter, 7 6. Looks like he's in a great position against Indy. Um, with no Banchero, too. Like, he's going to get all the rebounds, all the putbacks, all that work on the glass. Yaka Portal, we don't know. He's questionable. 7 1. If he's out, let's see. If Portal's going to be out, I would think. Charles Bassey gets a start. Just be careful. He does get in foul trouble. That's his thing. He'll go out there, get three quick ones, and then he's back on the bench. So it's risky, but no risk, no reward. He's a points per minute monster. Um, who else would be? Let's see. Georgie could start at bare minimal. If Yaka portals out, he's only 3K. I'll put him in the player pool for now. Um, but we'll see. That's that's why, man. This late game, I think, is the key. It is the damn key to winning this slate. Miles Turner is going to get a huge bump. Huge bump without Halliburton. He's going to get so much more usage. 7.3K. Love him in this spot against Orlando. Rudy Gobert, 6'6". Six, six. Like, he should get 30 rebounds tomorrow. Against Embiid, he should get 30 rebounds. I love Rudy Gobert at 6'6", six, six, and I think he goes under own because a lot of people aren't noticing this year that what Embiid is doing as far as just like, okay, go get it. I don't want to rebound that shit. Go for it. So give me Rudy Gobert at 6'6", six, six, man. That's really cheap. And again, he just needs to get a, a lot of rebounds. And the history against Philly is great, man. 50, 47, 34, 31, and a 52. Love Rudy Gobert at 6'6". Six, six. Bowl, bowl, we already touched on him. Zubots, 6.5K. He's getting all the He played 40 fucking minutes last game, guys. Just didn't do much with him. He got the rebounds, but didn't, didn't score a, month, a lot of real-life points. Last time against San Antonio, he got 48 DraftKings points. 22 and then 35. So I love Zubots at 6'5". He's always my go-to at center. And, yeah, guys, that's what we're looking at. So, again, just a rehash. Make sure you guys leave lots of spots open for that late game. You'll be doing yourself a disservice if you don't. Leave that utility spot open. Leave that guard forward spot open for that late game. Um, so you can get some really good value. I mean, good value. Not shit value. Good value at really low ownership, guys. And for crying out loud, Schroeder, you want to tell him? Yeah, guys, join the DFS club because, you know, we're, we're, we're killing it in here. And you guys aren't a part of it. Come be a part of it. That's right, Schroeder. You tell them. DFSclub.com, guys. Click join now. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS. And then pick your plans, guys. It's that simple. You are in just like that. Um, what else? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that. And leave us a comment so we can give away another DFS Club membership, guys. If you didn't win this time, keep trying. Keep trying. Your day will come. And if you want to leave us a super thanks, you guys get a special shout-out in the next video. And, uh, yeah, it goes towards the Schroeder Salmon Treat Fund, the Smoke and Joe Liver Treat Fund. And uh, maybe this guy will calm down. Maybe I get some some liver some um, liver treats, some tuna, tuna treats or salmon treats in his belly. And, Maybe he'll go to go to go nine nine. He'll go to sleep tonight. He's all fired up, guys.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. It's Friday night. Be safe. Have fun tonight, but be safe. See, please be safe. So you can come back and watch more videos, and we can have you part of the DFS club. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. This is Schroeder Skywalker. Schroeder, let us get the fuck out of here. We'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck tomorrow. DFS Club, I'll see you guys in the Discord. Y'all take care.